guys, Noodle Play Zelda here, and welcome to another episode of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last episode, we got here to Dodongo's Cavern, and in this episode, we're going to be seeing what the heck we can maybe find in Dodongo's Cavern. Sorry, I actually don't know what it's called, but I, and you know, it's probably Dodongo's Cavern, because they said it's where Dodongo's live, and it's a big cavern, so let's actually see if my guess is right. Sorry for not calling it, it's probably real. Oh. Well, it is Dodongo's Cavern. Magic, my friends. Okay, um... It looks like there are many lava pits around here, so watch your step. Okay, I will watch my step, Navi. Navi the fairy, full fairy. Okay, so these are the, um, Vemos. Don't really pay attention to those. You don't need them for anything. I am gonna be killing some of them, but not that one. Uh, you can bomb this room, and you will get the dungeon map in this chest. So remember that one um, place in the graveyard where we got the Hylian Shield. Later in the game, um, most likely after we beat this dungeon. We can actually go back to the grave where we got the Hylian Shield and do some more stuff there. There is a bit more we can do. We can use the bombs that we're going to get. It's so exciting that we're getting bombs. Okay, um... Bomb flowers. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this. And put it down. Ow. That hurt. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, sorry about that. So go ahead and take the bomb flower. And run! No, you don't really have to run. I'll just drop it and run. Okay, you do want to run that time. And there's a Shiga stone. And if you're low on health, just play that. But... I don't actually want to do Dodongo's Cavern this episode. I know I said I would. But I just wanted to show off that stuff, because that's all the stuff that you can do before you actually start the dungeon. The reason is there's some um, unfinished stuff that we can still do in Kakariko. And so I kind of want to do that. So let's go back down to Kakariko. I guess my quality was really good on one episode, because my friend Andrew, who's also in this channel... I mean, the one that I'm racing against, um, he said, he asked me if I had gotten a capture card, and I guess that is kind of possible. So, um, here's a glitch that you can do to get a heart piece. Um, if you're watching Andrew's point of view, you've already seen him doing it. Um, don't worry, guys, I did not copy this from him. I actually already knew about this. I just completely forgot about doing it. Did we make it? Oh, my. Oh, my God. Gosh, that is the closest I've ever gotten to falling off. Oh my gosh, that that's awesome. Hey, good to see you up here. I'll give you this as a memento. So there we go. Our um almost third yeah, our third heart piece of heart. Almost our um fifth heart container. Which is pretty awesome. Okay. So we got that, um, and now I'm going to be doing the Kuko side quest thing, because I feel like it. Okay, um, but, seriously, um, I need that bottle for something that we can do at Dodongo's Cavern, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, shouldn't take too much of our time, I can probably still do it just a little bit at, um, wherever we're going to next, um, Dodongo's Cavern. This episode, but probably not the entire dungeon. Um, so what you can do here is I learned this from Andrew, by the way. So thanks for that, Andrew. Go ahead. Okay, this is really, really weird. I'm going to move down onto the lower floor. Okay, guys, so what you can do here is go ahead and you can aim, slingshot him in the face, 
and hopefully he will run off. Or you can just do a glitch and sword slash. So you can grab this guy. And go ahead and take him back over to the Kuko Pen. Okay. So now, oh, you're going to want to go down. And this way. Made that kind of dramatic. Oh well. And there's a Kuko in the box. Okay, there's a new thing that we're doing. We're saying the date of the time this is recorded. So I actually don't know the date today. So that will start next episode. We're going to say the date of the time this was recorded. Just so that we know who finished first. Because my videos upload faster than Andrew. So if Andrew finishes like a day before me but my video gets out um before his since his is really slow uploading um or maybe it's the other way around because um to tell the truth sometimes my videos are upload very slowly sometimes they don't depends on what i'm recording i don't know how it does but it just does so that's that's kind of that so we're going to say the date but um we are, but i am going to say the the day today's friday um, it's in October, it's October, I forgot, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> I think it's the 12th, because I know that it's not the 13th, because Friday the 13th isn't until, like, Jan, it's, I think it's, yeah, Friday the 13th is going to be January this year, so, yeah, <clears throat> so now what you're going to want to do is head on up here, and... We make it here and truck this cuckoo and say goodbye. You will not need him until later. And go ahead and get this cuckoo. Don't fall down the hole. That will reset everything. Not the game, but all the cuckoos will go back to their original places, including the ones that you've already collected. So, <clears throat> that's not the greatest idea. Anyway, head on up over here. And you will find another Kuko. Brilliant. Just, just brilliant. So now we're going to go down here. Don't fall into the water either. That'll reset everything. So get that. Go ahead and get this Kuko. And there's one more that we have to get. Sorry, two more. The one that we just threw out. Wherever you are, come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, got him. One more Kuko to collect. And that Kuko is over here. So go ahead and get up here. And what time? Okay, we're at eight minutes. So that's pretty good. And the last Kuko is right here. Oh my gosh, the Keaton mask reminds me of Majora's mask so much, it's not even funny. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Go this way. And boom. And now, thank you for finding my Kukos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. For helping me, I will give you this. Isn't it all sparkly and pretty? Please take good care of it. So you guys, now you're going to go and get another bottle from um, Lon Lon Ranch, which is where we learned a Pona song, um, I believe two episodes ago. So let's go ahead and head this way. Yeah, actually I believe we have like perfect amount of time to go get the bottle from Lon Lon Ranch. And then I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I will be do doing Dodongo's Cavern for sure next episode. Like. 100% because I, this is like the last bit of side quest stuff that we can do. So, it's okay guys. Andrew is a bit is bit is a bit ahead of me, which sucks. So, we need to catch up guys. If you're only watching my point of view, um then team Noodle for the win. But team Andrew for the win also. I actually kind of want Andrew to win just so he can laugh so, just so um he can laugh in my face because then he will laugh. And his laugh is very, very dorky, and then I can call him dork. 
just like a, like he did to Mark in that thingy when he said, "Go SPD or something like that." Nerd. That's what he said. Oh. Okay. Um. Honestly, my laugh is really dorky too. But okay. Um. Let's do that. And go in here. And it is Talon. So, um, yeah. The way you can do this, get every single Kuko, throw him this, throw it this way, and they will not bother you. Or you can just have lucky awesomeness. So let's go ahead and do that. I, I, at least I believe that you can get a bottle from this. I think. Nope. You. You're not a super cuckoo. Are you a super cuckoo? There we go. Are you a super cuckoo? Are you a super cuckoo? No. Are you a super cuckoo? No. That was that that was close. Okay. So let's see if that took Okay, there we go guys. So we have two bottles now. Um how much time? Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to Dongo's Cavern, actually, because we have enough time to do that. Yeah, guys, we have two bottles now. That is half of the bottles we need. The last bottle we're going to be get the and then I know where the last two bottles are. So, yeah. Um, actually, one of the bottles is part of the storyline, so we're going to be getting that no problem. And the third bottle, I actually kind of forgot, but I can go look that up after this episode. So let's head back to Death Mountain. We need to do that because... I can't have Andrew being ahead of me, though. Now I'm ahead of him, because he doesn't have the bottle, the second bottle, so. Yeah. Um, he doesn't even have, um, the Goron bracelets yet. So, I think I'm just, I'm doing pretty good. I think we both, like, really, really want to win this. But we have not decided prize yet. We'll probably do that later today. The winner gets a prize. Of something. I think it's to choose what the other player gets to let's play, because they could literally say, like, any game. So, for example, they could say, like, that, like, a go, like, a Dora game, and that would be really funny. So, yeah, that's pretty much the choice, but it isn't that bad, so we don't want to make it, like, the winner gets to choose if that person gets to record ever again or not. Because I'm pretty sure that would be yeah that that would be a bad thing to have someone choose that or not, but still. So it's not going to be a very severe punishment if you lose, and it's not going to be a very good um, prize if you win. So yeah, either way, it's not going to be that bad if you lose or win. It's not going to be good that good if you win. It's not going to be that bad if you lose. But more like it's not going to be that bad if you lose. Because it is going to be kind of good if you win. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue on with the Dongo's Cavern next time. See you guys then. Peace. Bye. I will haunt your soul. Oh. 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 This death does not count as, uh, on my death score, by the way. No! No! Bye-bye.